We have to be intentional about re-engineering physical activity back into our daily lives. It's so important uh, now more than ever because we have an, an epidemic of not only obesity in our country, but really an epidemic of inactivity. And um, we're spending upwards of nearly $200 billion now in healthcare costs uh, due to uh, um, inactivity and, and obesity. So it's number one, a very real economic issue. Uh, but it's also a quality of life issue. So we know that uh, people who are physically active, uh, for our young people, they perform better in school. We say active kids do better. Uh, so we know kids are, are, are doing better academically. They are, have more time on task, better concentration. Um, they're less likely to engage in risky behaviors. So we say, we, we really call physical activity a positive gateway or a gateway behavior. Uh, all the good things go up, all the good behaviors go up, and all the bad things go down. Um, so from a, from a youth standpoint, the, you know, the research is clear. Active kids do better. We've engineered physical activity out of our daily lives in many, many respects due to the advent of so many types of technology but also in how we've prioritized even how we build our communities, how we build our schools. Uh, we are, are, it's hard for me to find a parent that sends their young person, their, their student out to school um, be, to, to walk or bike to school because they can't. Uh, it is not safe, it's, uh, the streets are not walkable, bikeable and the like. Absolutely, we need to encourage our young people to get out and play, uh, and we need to encourage our schools to continue or to offer uh, quality physical education in schools and have recess and have before and after school physical activity programs. We absolutely have to do that. Um, we need to have opportunities for our kids to go out and play, uh, to be able to have access to parks uh, and the like. We absolutely need to do that. But if we think we're going to get them to turn the uh, technology off completely, I think we're misguided. We know that kids are spending upwards of seven and a half hours a day in front of a screen. Our goal is to change that passive screen time into active screen time. So we're really challenging that industry, that technology industry, to make more games more games that, uh, that get kids moving. And oh, by the way, it'd be nice if we help them learn at the same time. So if we can marry learning plus movement plus gaming together, I think we will have come a long way as it relates to technology. Technology is not going away. Game, gaming is not going away. Video games are not going away. We've got to learn how to embrace it and speak the language.